Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Farah and in today's video, we're going to talk about my journey of learning code reviews for 20 days. By the way, this video is sponsored by Integrity. Integrity is Europe's largest bug bounty platform and they have over 300 active programs that you can hack on. My favorite part about Integrity is how much they give back to the hacking community. For example, they have monthly XSS challenges and an active YouTube channel where they educate the bug bounty community on new tools and hacking techniques. You can also follow them on Twitter where they host educational and informative Twitter spaces. They also post a lot of bug bounty tips and code review challenges as well. So if you want to hack on Integrity, you can use my link and sign up on their platform. So I decided to start learning code reviews uh, because I wanted another perspective on how web application vulnerabilities looked like. I did not, I didn't know much about this topic so I posted a tweet asking people to suggest some resources because I wanted to learn code reviews. This tweet got a really good response and I also updated the thread with my journey of learning but I couldn't be very descriptive on Twitter so I decided to also make a video sharing my journey. I'll link the tweet below so you can check it out but this video is gonna be a much more detailed version of that and I'll also include some resources that I couldn't include in the tweet. So since I didn't know where to begin, I decided to look at Pentester Lab because that's kind of like my go-to resource for web application, for anything web application related. So I decided to start with Pentester Lab. Now the resources for code reviews on Pentester Lab were a little bit limited. For example, I decided to choose PHP as my language to begin with and they had only 9 challenges for PHP which I thought was a bit limited but they had very good videos on how you can strategize and set your mindset before you learn how to review code and I think that's very important like at least for me because I didn't know what kind of mindset to go into when you look at a piece of code so the videos they had around strategy around planning they were a good start because it helped me build my mindset before I actually reviewed the code the next resource that I decided to go with was suggested on the Twitter thread and that was Sonar Rules. Now since I was looking at PHP, I only looked at the code review rules for PHP. Now code review rules are just like hacks or they are like cheat sheets uh, while you are code reviewing. So you will just learn about the basic areas of where flaws can come up. After going through this resource, I realized that the flow of input to output is the most important thing that needs to be reviewed. So to check where the user input is coming from from like cookies, headers, post data and where the output is. So kind of like source to sync. That's what you need to check when you're doing code reviews and Sonar rules will kind of give you like a checklist. So when you go for code reviews, you have certain rules in mind, but keep in mind that these are basic and actual code will look a little bit different and it won't be as straightforward. So the next thing I wanted to do was look at some actual code belonging to an actual application. Uh, so what I decided to do was look at code for vulnerable apps like we have DVWA where we generally look for vulnerabilities through the web application itself but what I decided to do was look at the code for the application so I found the github repositories for these applications I will link it below uh, you can find the github repository for DVWA and then you can review the code now this was very useful for me and I think honestly this was the best resource uh, because it has different levels of vulnerabilities as well like low, high, medium so you can compare the fixes for example when you look at the low level it will be a very straightforward piece of code which is easy to exploit and then when you look at medium you'll realize what the fix was for the low level and how the developers were able to resolve it this is a very important thing to know for code reviews because at times there are security controls but the hacker finds a way to bypass it and dvwa was a good place to learn about these bypasses so i chose php to learn code reviews and dvwa was a good option but you can also find applications for other languages like for node.js or if you want to perform code reviews on oauth applications I will also link a great github repository where I performed code reviews for the OAuth application that they had. You can also find vulnerable APIs. For example, if you want to review a GraphQL application, you can find vulnerable GraphQL code repositories and learn GraphQL code reviews. I would also like to give a shout out to CryptoCats playlist. 
I will link it below. They have made videos for every single bug on DVWA where they solve it through the web application and they also look at the code and analyze that for finding the root cause of the bug. So shout out to them and if you're using DVWA to learn code reviews, these videos are definitely worth watching. After going into this hands-on learning, I decided to go back and do a little bit more theory and watch a bit more videos about how people do their code reviews. So I want to tell you about this channel that I found at this point called OWASP DevSlog. They have some great videos about code reviews and different people who come onto their channel and walk the audience through their code review process. My favorite video was the one that was made by Infosec AU or Shubham Shah. He shows how you can analyze code reviews for offensive security which is exactly what I wanted to do. Another great video that they had was by Vicky Lee where she also goes through the, her code review process. She also has a video about it on her own channel. I will be mentioning all the links in the description below. Yes We Hack and Integrity's Twitter pages also started posting a bunch of code review challenges every week or uh, a few days in a week i'm not sure but their challenges were a great way for me to just test myself and see how i was doing in my learning process i was able to solve the challenges most of the times especially the easy one that i could see myself finding the root cause and finding the vulnerability correctly so that was making me a little bit happy that i had made some progress in my learning journey so if you want to look at those challenges i would highly recommend that while you're learning code reviews also look at these challenges posted by integrity and yes we hack because this will help you test yourself and see if you've learned anything so from the oasp devslop videos i found the asset node blogs written by shubham shah about the bugs that he's found so on asset notes blog page you will find write-ups of how he found bugs for bug bounty programs through code reviews and how he was able to obtain the code so these write-ups were a good way to see how people were finding bugs in actual targets that were bug bounty targets so they were a little bit more hardened than the vulnerable apps that we were practicing on earlier so i would highly recommend that at an advanced stage after you've done the basic code review work that you go to his blogs and check them out so the last resource that i want to talk about is the oasp code review guide it is a book it is for free you can find it online i will also link it below this book has a lot of theory about code reviews and it goes through each oasp category and how you can do code reviews for those categories for example broken authentication and session management and how you can perform code reviews for those bugs or broken access control information disclosures so this was also a good way to kind of set my mindset before I go into code reviews. So what I do to keep myself updated after going through all these resources to keep myself updated with code reviews and how bugs are fixed. So HackerOne has Hacktivity where they disclose reports that have been fixed and some of their targets also have GitHub repositories for analyzing code. Uh, I have to admit that very few bugs that are disclosed are actually for code reviews but you'll find one or two occasionally so I would suggest you look at those reports to see how bug hunters were able to find bugs doing code reviews and another good way to keep learning about code reviews is seeing how CVEs are fixed. So when you check online, if you go to exploit DB or anywhere where you can see how a CVE was fixed in the code, uh, if you can go to their GitHub repository and also see the public changes that they've made, you'll be able to see how common bugs are fixed. So in conclusion, I would like to say that according to me, I think DVWA was the best resource for me to learn hands-on code reviews and that was pretty much me doing it on my own. There was no blog that I was reading or following apart from CryptoCats. Uh, YouTube playlist there was no other guide so I think the best way to learn is to actually do code reviews and find vulnerable apps that you want to test and find bugs in them and then go to the applications UI and see how the bug appears on the UI so that's it for this video I just wanted to walk you through my journey and how I went from day 1 to day 20 of learning code reviews um, and what kind of resources are used and what was the most useful for me if you like these kind of videos then let me know if you want me to learn something and share another learning journey with you then let me know and I can try that out as well if you learned something new in this video and have decided to learn code reviews yourself then do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel it would mean a lot to me I will see you in the next video bye